Let us now understand the law of equimarginal utility. This law also kind of explains or actually refers to a situation where a consumer spends the money that he earns or the income that he has on more than one commodity, C1, C2, C3. Okay? Unlike the case that we took in the previous video where the entire money was being spent on one particular good, in this case the money is being sent, spent on multiple number of commodities. Okay? Now, according to this law, what happens is that whenever you spend any money, okay, each rupee spent on a particular commodity, let's say C1, gives you a particular unit of satisfaction or the marginal utility. Let's say your marginal utility for spending 1 rupee on commodity 1 is 10 units, okay, MU1. And the first rupee on commodity 2 is 20 units. When you spend 10 on 2, you get 8. Here, let's say it's 12. For MU3, you get 6 here and 6 here. Okay? MU4, it will give you 5 here and let's say 2 here. Okay? So these are various utilities that you get in respect of these two commodities. As you keep on spending an additional rupee from here to here, second rupee here, third rupee here, fourth rupee here. Similarly, one, two, three, four. Each one of them kind of reflects how much is the utility, the marginal utility that you get as you spend one rupee extra on each of these commodities. Okay? Now, what this law of equi marginal utility says is equi obviously is a kind of a extraction of the word equal what the law of equi marginal utility says is that the consumer okay who is this guy is going to allocate expenditure okay expenditure or his money okay on various commodities let's say c1 and c2 okay in such a manner so that the utility gained from last rupee spent on this commodity is equal okay so the first example that we took we know that the utility gain from these two when you spend three rupee each on them is equal okay so this is the point where the consumer is in equilibrium right why because from the last rupee that he spent on both these commodities the marginal utility is equal let me give you another example and that will kind of clarify this a bit more Let's say for commodity C3, if we have to talk about this. Let's say the utility that he gets here is 15, 8, 7, 6. Okay. So up to what point in time will he expense? He will expend his allocation in such a manner so that the marginal utility that he derives from the last rupee spent on these commodities is equal. So let's say he had only um, 10 rupees to allocate. How will he do that? He will obviously allocate 3 rupees here, 3 rupees here and 4 rupees here. Okay? Because if you take the sum of these 3, that will give you the maximum utility and he will be kind of indifferent. Because if he spends 4 here, okay, what will happen is that the marginal utility will go down. Okay? So he is in equilibrium when the last rupee spent on these commodities is giving him a equal utility. Or in other words, we say that marginal utility of C1 upon price of C1 is equal to the marginal utility of C2 divided by price of C2 is equal to marginal utility of C3 
subject to of course the total budget that a consumer has right or not okay so that is all we have about law of equi marginal utility thank you for being with us on this video